Salford Devils victorious in their first pre-season game of 2020 finish. Salford Devils 52, Swinton Lions 4. Paul, good workout for Ian Watson's men. Yeah, I thought it was a good workout. I thought Swinton came and, and, and played some good stuff earlier. He, he did come in to put the ball up the jumper, didn't he? He threw the ball around and made it an arm wrestle, made it a contest. And, uh, it, it, it always takes a while, doesn't it, to get going when you've got players for a number of months getting rid of that ring rust. But I thought we did have discussed some good try and some impressive performance as well. Players who've not played for us before, you know, slotting in, combinations of work. So I thought it was a, overall a good workout. Yeah, it was. Great, great workout. No injuries. Uh, but all about blowing the cobwebs off, um, you know, in these first few games. Uh, Chris Wallon, the scoring for Salford, coming off an inside ball. Uh, showed his quality there, getting over the line. Yeah, he certainly did. We know all that Chris from last season, don't we? You know, excellent centre. Puts his, 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 his winger in Ken Seo, doesn't he, a couple of times. And I think he was good again today, he got his interception try as well, didn't he? He liked a bit of pace there, going forward, but I think that pace might come back. But no, I thought Chris played really well again. Yeah, Gil Dudson and Ken Seo also on the score sheet in that first half, Paul. Commanding first half performance, I thought. You know, obviously we were looking at, you know, seeing if Salford could, you know, put in a, a steady that performance in that first half. I think they did. They did, yeah. Well, like you said, it was the rust, it was a mistake at the time as well. Um, and it's really unlucky. A couple of times they broke through, didn't they? And uh, had a few opportunities there. But, uh, but yeah, I think what over pleased with the overall performance in the first half. Obviously, they're going to change things around with half backs. But started with uh, Tui Lollarier and, and Chris Atkin. I thought Chris Atkin looked really good. I thought he came on, he, he, he played well, he moved the ball well. And uh, you know, he looks at a really good half back, really, really accomplished player. And a player that can play at a hooker as well and fill in at full back. So I think we've got a, a little gem there in Chris. Yeah, second half started, much changed lineup. Uh, Kevin Brown played his first 40 minutes for Salford Devils. He made an instant impact for me. Yeah, he did. Well, he's got a good pair of hands. He's got an awful lot of experience with like Kevin Brown. I know people keep saying he's 35 years of age now, but he's got, he's got it between his ears, hasn't he? He can pass the ball beautifully, you know, the way he uploads the ball. and that. I think he's, he's going to take him a bit of time to, to get up to speed. You're, you're playing with a lot of new players you've never played with before, have you? So, uh, I think Kevin's an excellent player, like I said, full of energy, he's played grand finals, challenge cup finals, playing the world cup final, so uh, you know, I think he's going to be great to have around the squad as well, and he's going to be an excellent football. Yeah, two tries from our levels in that second half, showed his you know, ability to, to find that gap in the line, something to look forward to in 2020, link, linking up with Brown. Yes, yeah, certainly, yeah, and, and Atkin as well, um, you know, nine levels, you've only got to give him half a yard, half a sniff, haven't you, nine levels will finish it more with the pace and the, and the ability that he's got. And you know he, he took his chances really well today and created the try as well. I think he created one for Chris Atkins, didn't he? So uh, so yeah, I mean what he scored last season, 23, 22 tries, wasn't it? An excellent return last year, and I'm sure he'll be right amongst the tries again this year. Yeah. His pace is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, Williams scored as well. Yeah, Reece Williams, very impressive I thought, and he's, he's 40 minutes. Uh, showed plenty of uh, endeavour and, and pace and yeah. you know something to look forward to in 2020 I think. Yeah he did, he's deceptively strong with him as well and he's not like he's the biggest bloke in the world but he's, he's, he's a bit like sort of a cube and he's new sort of shape and he's always got a bit of pace as well and I think he, like we said before, to my sports of water, you know, there's a lot of competition for places in Real Madrid still there. He's got Elliot Key and Ed Chain, a great team back as well after a massive injury layout. Good to see Ed back in the side. And, and yeah, I think uh, you know these guys are all going to be pushing for the first team place. We've got a little league game and the Warrington game to impress and impress uh, what's in the culture. Yeah, Lee next week, another early kickoff, another level sort of after the goal. So I know it's early, uh, but Lee will be a test. Do you mean early as in early kickoff? Kickoff, yeah. And early in the season, <laughs> oh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, you um, have to be up early next week, won't you, for that? But yeah. I think one thing you're going to get next week, no disrespect to Swinton, is you're going to get perhaps a bit more physical team in Lee. Yeah, I think they're going to step up at the both, both uh, Swinton. They're going to be one of those sides in and around the very interesting championship season next year. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. But they've made some interesting signings, haven't they? They've got some good halfbacks in Ben Reynolds and Martin Rudyard still there. They've got Jared Sammet in as well. So Danny Addy, I think, has gone there as well from, from Bradford, if I'm not mistaken. So they've got a really strong squad of players. and. That's going to be another tough test, that, but that's what Wattle wants. You want that test, and you've got a big test against one in the week after them. It doesn't come any bigger than the way down away no. on the opening night. So, uh, so yeah, we're looking forward to next uh, next Saturday morning. Yeah, so so victorious today against the old uh, the old enemy Swinton. They played very well as well, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, you know, two little men uh, certainly showing plenty ahead of their season. Yeah, well, they were the surprise package for me last year in the championship. We finished ninth. They had some excellent wins away from home. They went and were in France at the end to lose, and really, really impressed them. I think speaking to a few of their, their supporters recently, it's disappointing for them at the end, back in the last season what went on with, with Andy Major leaving and the name change and things like that. It sort of robbed their momentum going forward to this season. So I hope they uh, they have another good year again. It's going to be tough for them, but that championship's going to be a really intriguing league. Isn't it? You've got Lee up there, Featherstone Rovers, you've got London Broncos dropping back down, Toulouse, uh, York City Knights, Bradford Bulls, Halifax. You know, I could name the whole, the whole 
and the whole league there and you know it's really is who's gonna who's gonna win that this time it's gonna be it's gonna be great really it's gonna be a great league it's gonna be tough for, for Swinton they've not got the biggest squad and they've not got the finances of some of these other sides but I oh, wish them well they've got some good players in there and uh, some interesting players and some you know good pair of half backs like Hampton and Fair mm. played really well today so I wish them all the best. Yeah so Salford start the 2020 pre-season with a victory against Swinton Lions it finished Salford and Devils 52 Swinton Lions 4 6 Six. No, it was four. Yeah, it was. Four. Sorry. <laughs> four. Four. Yeah. four. <laughs>